Here's a few things we learned in the world of microplastics in the last week. Some of them are great and some of them are not so good. Good news first. <laughs> so researchers discovered that anthocyanin-rich fruits and vegetables help defend your body against toxic microplastic exposure. I've talked a lot about how diet is actually our biggest exposure to microplastics and all the chemicals that come out of plastic. And there are tons of studies showing other different polyphenols and naturally occurring compounds from fruits and vegetables that help detox microplastics from our bodies, as well as remediate the harmful impacts. And these researchers explored how anthocyanins, I'm sorry if I'm butchering, that they interact with steroid receptors in our body, which play essential roles in reproductive health. And these compounds, which are found in lots of colorful fruits and vegetables, help protect our bodies from the har most harmful impacts of microplastics. That's why I always say to eat the rainbow, it keeps getting proven true. Awesome. However, and not so good news, they did find that microplastics are directly linked to spikes in brain disability. So they looked at counties that had higher amounts of microplastics in the surrounding waters, right? And they found that the higher the amount of microplastics in the surrounding water, the higher the rates of cognitive mobility and self-care disabilities. So this study, which had a lot of researchers out of Houston, looked at 218 U.S. coastal counties, and they found significant associations between higher marine microplastic levels and increased prevalence of neurologic disabilities. And last year, a similar study, this one, however, looking at cardiometabolic diseases in U.S. coastline counties, had similar findings. And reminder, Cancer Alley, which is where much of like the chemical and plastics manufacturing occurs, that's along the coast of like Louisiana and Texas, that has some of the highest cancer and disability rates in the entire country. However, in good news, some researchers were looking at phthalates in indoor air environments, right? Phthalates are a whole group of chemicals that are really harmful that come from plastic. However, they actually found that our indoor air temperature actually reduces the amount of phthalates, right? So just by trying to keep your indoor environment a little cooler, better ventilated, that will reduce the amount of phthalates that come off of all the plastic stuff that, that we own and ultimately that we end up breathing.